Oh, recording in progress. How is everybody? Hey guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Merry in Christmas. July. Hey there. <laughs> I'm looking at Danielle's little bit up there. Just a warning, it's very hot, so there will be a change here in just a minute. So. <laughs> she is, <laughs> she, she's loving the Santa outfit. I mean, you can come look real quick. <laughs> hi. You're saying hi. Oh, we're about to get kicked off. And Danielle, little adult warning here. It's about to make a change. <laughs> Are we good? Everybody good? Oh, oh. Make sure your little ones are clear of the room. <laughs> All right. Woo. Y'all, I got this outfit. Uh, I do it for special needs kids around Christmas time. So I normally have a little glue. Destiny, I'm sorry. Your child's probably traumatized right now. <laughs> uh, so anyway, how is everybody doing? Tiffany just joined. We got several people joining just a little bit later. Hey, Mary. Hey, everybody. We were excited to do, uh, can everybody hear us? Thumbs up. I got a new studio mic. I don't know if it works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work. But we were excited to do Christmas in July. We've had a lot of cool things going on this month. If you hadn't seen Facebook at all today, I think we've blown it up. <laughs> we released Pink Life 2.0. And it is, well, I'm going to go into that here in just a little bit later. But I just wanted to announce that after this is over, we're going to post a PJ contest. So uh, and we'll let everybody vote on who they think has the best Christmas PJs. And so I need you to take a selfie and post it in that thread on Facebook for on the tribe for us. OK. Um, so that'll be that. And then also, if you could do us a favor and just like post, say I had a good time at the Pink Life Swag Christmas in July PJ party on your personal one. We would very much appreciate that. So we have some games in store tonight. Uh, if you make it through the whole Zoom, I've got a special treat for everyone that's here. Um, and so I think Janina had a fun little uh, scavenger hunt for everyone. Um, and she mentioned some of the things that she's going to have you look for. And <laughs> I don't know if anybody's got any of these, but we're going to try. Yes. So Janina, take it away. Tell them how, or I'm sorry, Mrs. Kringle. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to do a super fun scavenger hunt. And I know that these are probably things that you don't have readily accessible, but that's kind of the point. The point is to see who does have these things. I'm going to make it easy. And I want you guys to give yourselves one point for each item that you have. You can take your phones with you so that you can listen to some of the training while you're looking for things too. Um, but give yourself one point. The person who's the winner, tell us how many points you have in the comments of this in the chat. And I am going to have you show us. So no cheating. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> no cheating. Um, and if you do cheat, then Santa's not going to get you anything for Christmas. Naughty. Oh, we don't want that. Okay. So the very first thing. Oh, that... was, how corny are we? I love it. We're pretty corny. Yeah, but that's the point. Yeah. Who's having Mary, fun? Mary, I see you shaking your head. <laughs> I'm corny. <laughs> but who's having fun though, right? That's Ask my kids how corny I am. Yeah. Guys, I just want to say at any time, if you want to unmute yourself, if you have something to say, if you have a question, feel free yes. to. This is informal. We want all you guys to participate. And uh, we've got some good guests, or great guest speakers yeah. here, uh, close friends of ours. And so let's get right into, sorry, I just, this no is, worries. it's like 95 degrees outside and I'm in a Santa suit. <laughs> All right. So the very first thing on our scavenger hunt is a Christmas sweater. So if you have a Christmas sweater, go ahead and grab that. And then the next item. You may, hey, just for reference, you may want to stay and like write these down and get them, you oh, know. How about you put them in the chat, babe, while I'm saying I'll them. put them in the okay. chat while she's yeah. Hey, that's how we do this. So the first one is a Christmas sweater. I see a few already. You guys are awesome. The next one is Christmas wrapping paper. So not just any wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper. The next one is an elf. 
If you have an elf in your your kids don't count. Your kids don't count. You can get creative, but kids don't count. The next one is Christmas lights. And the next one is a candy cane. I know some of you moms have a candy cane shoved somewhere down at the bottom of a purse, okay? I know we do. All right, the next one is a nativity set. Next is a Santa hat. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's wearing a Santa hat right now. I am. Yeah, yeah you are. Um, the next one is an angel. That's me. So just any, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a tree topper angel, just an angel. The next one is a wreath. It has a wreath. The next one is an ornament. So next is an ornament. We're meeting a couple people. Um, and then the next one is a stocking. If you have a Christmas stocking around anywhere. The next one is cookies. So we have Santa here. We That's my favorite. Sure my favorite. We have some cookies for Santa. Of course. Organic, non-gluten, yeah. low-fat, keto <laughs> cookies. And then the next one, somebody's going to whip up some cookies while we're on this call. Um, the next one is reindeer. Who has a reindeer? <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. Y'all go out to your backyard and get your reindeer. All right. a real one. Oh, God. Okay, and the last one is a train. How about a train wreck? A trade. Oh, okay. So that is the last one. So you guys can feel free throughout the Zoom to look for these things. And once you have them, kind of gather them together. Put your total that you have for the scavenger hunt in the chat. And we will go through and pick out a winner sometime during this call. 14 total points. If somebody lists 17, we know you're trying to cheat. <laughs> awesome. All right. So we're going to go right ahead and go into our first speaker. I need some music. And I'm super excited for this person. She has gorgeous red lipstick on right now. Um, and I'm excited for her to share today about some mindset strategies. So Tiffany, why don't you take it away? Look, look at this intro music. We're professional. Low budget, baby. Low budget. <laughs> hey, I thought Tabitha was going before me. Oh, are we doing tab? I have. Yes, that's the oh, old man. Okay. Yes, we can get Tabitha. Surprise, Tiffany's speaking <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was looking at my, my original list. Okay. Tabitha. Hey, uh, I'm totally part. fine either way. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, obviously, Tabitha is like rocking Christmas pajamas. Are those dinosaurs? <laughs> Yeah, that is <laughs> I matched with the boys this Christmas. So we had elf jammies and then we had the dino jammies. That's so cute. So Tabitha is somebody who did a training with us in Michigan when we got engaged. And that was really awesome. Um, and she is somebody that I look up to a lot in this business and is a senior Ruby ambassador going for emeralds. And I can't Yay! wait to see you achieve that because you're already a jewel in my eyes. So uh, have it done. Oh. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, watching that engagement was one of the most incredible moments of my life because just like he came in and I seriously, I'm, I'm sitting there and he comes in, Janine is in the middle of speaking and he just like has to butt in and he starts talking and I'm just like, she is a saint. She's one of the most patient people. Doesn't he understand that she has a schedule? She's talking about stuff. So then he's starting to talk about diamonds because he walked in at a really like perfect moment to interject about diamonds and he starts talking about it and how like for 35 years, it's taken him 35 years to find this perfect diamond or whatever. And then he gets down with this ring and all of us girls in that room just like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. So, so, so cool. So we're all pulling out our phones and <laughs> taking videos and pictures. So as Gina said, um, my name is Tabitha Teremy. I um, live in Lansing, Michigan. I have three kiddos. Dean just turned five in June. Dixon's three and a half and Brittany just turned two in May. So I'm going to have a little kindergartner this fall and I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited because I just can't wait for him to soak up everything he can get from school. And another exciting thing about that is that my husband has agreed to let me put the other two into school so that I, or at least into preschool or daycare two to three days a week. And that will open up a lot more time for me to be able to work the business and really push for Emerald. So Gina and, um, 
Emmett asked me to talk about um, consistency and kind of working in the little moments, which you can obviously imagine with having three kids, five and under, that is something that I really have to do. And when I started working Flexus, I was actually working four part-time jobs in addition to adding in Flexus. My husband, um, it was the sole breadwinner for the family, but it wasn't enough. And so I was either teaching piano lessons or cleaning our church 10 hours a week, or I was babysitting for two different families. Um, and that equaled out to be about 30 to 40 hours a week. Anything I could do where I could take the babies with me was what I was going to do in order to bring in money. Anyone would ask me to clean their house. I take the kids. I'm putting them all, strapping them into their car seats and taking them out there. So I had to work in those little moments in order to start to get my Plexus business up to where it needed to be. And it was hard in the beginning. Honestly, I, I had a couple mental breakdowns, not breakdowns, I guess. I had a couple like emotional breakdowns, just like, how can I get all of this done? Because I've found the thing that I'm actually super passionate about but I'm holding on to these other things because I didn't want to disappoint the families that I was babysitting for. I didn't want to disappoint the church who was doing so much for us and letting us do this, but I had to bring in some type of boundary in order to protect my family, in order to protect my own sanity. We talk about how we're doing something for ourselves. We are filling our own cups and I was doing that, but at the same time, so much was pouring out of the tops and I had holes coming out the bottom because I was fitting everything into everything I could do. I had to learn about boundaries. I had to to learn to turn off notifications on my phone in order to get things done when I needed to get them done. And guys, life has been so wonderful since turning off notifications. I have text messaging on because only a few people have my phone number. And if they really need to get a hold of me, they can get a hold of me. But it does help me be consistent when I am having to work in that time management because I really do need to give time to my kids. Dean is looking to go into school this fall and I have not made it as much of a priority to do just 10 minutes of school with him every single day. But recently I heard keep promises to yourself and 10 minutes every single day, 365 days a year is 3,650 minutes you are dedicating to one thing. So that can be a hobby, whether you're wanting to take back up piano lessons, that can be plexus. If you want to put in 3000 minutes of plexus, 10 minutes a day, you're going to get something done. And I've just been seeing that there, I've been able to be so much more consistent in my home life and in my plexus business, because I'm actually putting my phone away, doing things for my family. I'm filling my cup in other areas besides my business. And I actually have a much more open mindset when it comes to answering questions about people's health and engaging confidently in the responses I'm giving them because I actually, like so much has come off my plate because I'm getting 10 minutes a day done that those 10 minutes I bring to the plate with my business, I'm actually really happy to get back and answer that person. So being consistent with your business also means being consistent with your family and putting in those boundaries and just being able to work in the 10 minutes. You know, that's the time you have, you get that done, whether it's content pictures, whether it's jotting down post ideas and something I've found in order to keep me consistent throughout the week is just to have a theme for every single day. And I do one thing for my business all day long. So I get all my posting scheduled for one day. And then the next day I've had all the posting scheduled that I want, you know, I've got it written out. And so then I'm like, okay, well, I know what pictures I want to take for that. So whether that's with the kids, whether that's selfies, then I spend that day with all my makeup and my hair done and my little outfits picked out and I get my picture content done. So then editing my picture is so much easier because I can just put it into the Lightroom app and get my presets on there. So that's a little bit about consistency, but consistency will come when you put boundaries on what you're going to do, get family stuff done. My husband's so much happier. Marriage counseling has shown me where I need to bring in those boundaries, but then also it has given me a lot more freedom in my business because my mind is not bogged down with, oh, I'm spending so much time scrolling, but wait, this is ideas. No, I'm, I'm getting my time management in and Life is just so much happier because I'm able to do these little, these little tricks that I brought in the last two months, I would say. So That's Tiffany, awesome. she's the next one. She's going to be talking about uh, mindset, right? Hey, just real quick. I want to interject. I'm not going to drag this out because you know, I could be long winded, but I, I read something. And this is what I go by just to touch on what you talk about, Tabitha, but 8% of your time yields 80% of your profit and your results. 
And that's sort of a statistic to kind of keep in mind is if, if we spend more time focusing on the things that's going to yield our profits and we can have 92% of the time of the day to do what, whatever. I know that kind of seems like a stretch, but it's legit. Like, so when I owned my own business, I would, um, I micromanaged everything from down to like going to buy paper, to going to buy supplies, to going to do this. And so if we, and then I finally learned now that if I let other people take care of the other 92% of the things that I really don't have to and focus on that 8% of the things that I'm really great at, then that will help my business. And it's helped my business blow up and it's helped my personal life uh, extremely and give us more time. So it's a great points that you had, Tabitha. And uh, go ahead and reintroduce Tiffany because I'm rude, Santa. She doesn't have to reinduce, re, reinduce me. I am not pregnant. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> reintroduce me. Thank you, Tabitha. I appreciate that. Like that is so true. And that's one of the things that like, I am a full-time student again. I've got all four of my kids by Christmas. They will be nine, eight, seven, and four and a half at home with me this summer. We are always constantly busy. So I've noticed that being mindful with my time this summer has been like paramount on top of Plexus business and laundry and dishes that never end, right? So Emmett, I don't have um, pajamas. So I just wore one of my Christmas sweaters. So hey, you, you just got to deal with that. If you'd never told me, I'd never know. Just so you know, I'm wearing gym shorts <laughs> underneath this. So <laughs> I, I have my workout leggings on. on so on the bar. Right, right, right. Not like on the top anyways. Okay, you guys, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tiffany Clayton. I'm a gold ambassador with Plexus, and I have just been so blessed to um, come to know Janina and Emmett this last year. I mean, I think it's just been since like January. They have totally come into my uh, into my life and blessed me, and I am so blessed to be able to talk to you guys about something today that has truly impacted um, our lives. So when my oldest was in kindergarten, she came home to me one day, and she said, Mommy, why am I not a good friend? Like, why do why do people not like me? Um, what's wrong with me? And I was like, there's nothing wrong with you, honey. Absolutely nothing. I said, what I want you to realize is that you are perfect the way you are. And if somebody's being mean to you, which they were, she was being bullied at school in kindergarten, y'all, she was fine. Not that the mama bear came out or anything, but we handled it. Everything was fine, but there was lasting things on her mindset and on her psyche. And it was just absolutely, um, super hard for me as a mom to see her in that that weak state when she was just so young and so naive and um so I um I started some mindset stuff I got a couple of resources I found some amazing companies I can share those with you later but one of the things that I started doing with my kids is we started doing mindset activities on the way to school every morning and one of them that I came up with was the Powerball. And that's the exercise that I'm going to share with you guys um, today because it is just so amazing. And it can go, we change it up every month according to what holiday we're in. And since we're in Christmas, I was going to share some things with you that we do on Christmas. But, okay, each one of you has power inside of you, okay? Sometimes it's really hard to tap in on that power. Sometimes it's really easy. But every single day, what you need to do is you need to think of your power being contained in a ball. Okay, this ball, imagine it like a uh, fortune teller's ball. It's got all this amazing swirly smoke. You can imagine it whatever color you want to. If your favorite color is pink, there's pink smoke in your ball, but it's your power ball. And this is the amazing thing about it is that it's yours and it's nobody else's. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of something that is powerful. Do you want to be smarter? Do you want to be more confident? Do you want to um, reach out to somebody and not have a chicken list? Do you want to be strong? Do you want to not live in fear? Do you want to live with honor? Do you want, what, what do you want? What superpower do you want? I'm not talking about like flying, right? We haven't defied gravity in that way to where you can just pick up and fly. I'm not talking about picking up a car. I'm talking about what do you feel will make you stronger mentally, emotionally, maybe not physically so much, but sometimes when we are strong emotionally, we become strong physically because we believe that we can do whatever we want to do, right? So imagine your Powerball. Speak your word of truth. 
speak your power to the powerful. Today, I am going to be a good friend. Today, I'm not going to live in fear. Today, I am going to find my inner strength and I am going to fill in the blank and whisper that word to your powerball. Okay, now take your powerball in your hand and push it into your chest. You just gave yourself the power to do what it was that you couldn't do before. And that power is going to stay with you all day. And it is because you gave yourself that power that you are going to have it with you all day. So anytime that you feel afraid or anytime you feel unsure or anytime that you feel like, I'm not sure I can do that, you're gonna think of your Powerball and you're gonna know that you have that power within you and it's going to give you courage and it's going to give you strength and it's going to give you the power to rely on others to ask for help, to know that you can do that scary, super scary, big hair. What is it called? The, the big hairy goal, right? The big, scary, hairy goal that you didn't think you could do. It's going to help you walk up to that person and ask them if they need help. Because sometimes that's scary too. It's going to be able to help you to do the things that you didn't think you had power for because why? You just gave yourself that power. So every morning, on the way to school, we um, talk about what's gonna be in our Powerball. And sometimes it's just that, what am I grateful for today? I am grateful that I have good friends and I put it in my Powerball and I put it in my chest and then all day I am mindful of my amazing friends, right? Sometimes with Christmas and yes, affirmations, that's basically what this is. This is a mindset affirmation thing, but it brings, physical, right? Because sometimes we play these games and they seem so silly, but it brings a physical thought and a physical touch to something that is not physical, like words. It gives you that power as you need it. And so Christmas comes around, right? And so sometimes we say, I am going to be jolly like Santa. And we put it in our power ball and we put it in our chest and we carry it with us all day. And sometimes we say, I will shine bright like the North Star so everybody can see my light and know that I am a child of God and we put it in our Powerball. And sometimes we say that we're going to be nice like Frosty and share, spread a smile wherever we go and we put it in our Powerball. Sometimes we say that we are going to be uh, vibrant like a brightly wrapped present and we put it in our Powerball. The sky is the limit, you guys. And every single day in December, we come up with something new that is Christmas themed. Every single school day, I guess I should say. Um, and then even on the break. So every weekday, probably, we come up with a new Christmas themed um, affirmation that we put in our power balls and then we carry it with us all day. So the question that I'm going to leave you guys with, whether it's Christmas, whether it's New Year's or Valentine's Day or Easter, or Halloween, or 4th of July, or all the amazing days in between. What power are you going to carry with yourself every single day? Because no matter who naysays you, no matter who tells you the hard things that kind of break you down a little bit and make you wonder, am I doing this? Am I, am I doing this right? Am I, am I doing this for the right reasons? But she just told me that I'll never become diamond or he just told me that I'll never make it because this is a pyramid scheme, right? All the naysayers, especially yourself. How many things do you tell yourself every single day that have a negative connotation to it, okay? All your naysayers, they cannot take away the power you give yourself. And that is the amazing thing about power balls. Nobody can take it away from you. So. I'm going to leave that with you guys. I hope that you are mindset it up and you're ready to put power in your power balls. And by the way, if you want to try this with your kids, they're going to laugh at you and think it's a little silly at first, but it works. My oldest went from not feeling like, and this is not the only thing we do, but this is one of the big ones. My oldest went from feeling like she was nothing. How can somebody? so amazingly precious in the eyes of God, feel like she is nothing. 
but she went from feeling like she is nothing to feeling like she is worthy. And that is a transformation that I want each and every one of you to go on. So I'm giving you your Powerball. Take it, be blessed. And I'm going to introduce Cassie because she's right after me. So I love you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic jolly night and I will talk to you later. So good today, I'm gonna I'm taking that ball. I hope everybody is taking their ball right now and in visualizing what you can use with those affirmations that she just gave you, pour into your kids, pour into yourself and write them down. I think that's the biggest thing that I always tell my team is to write them on a mirror, write them in their bathroom, write them somewhere you're gonna see it present so that you can see it more often because you need to change it up, right? You know, you can't keep telling yourself, I'm so pretty. Then it's like, oh yeah, I saw that yesterday, right? You want to change it up. So anyway, I'm Cassie Howard and I'm so pumped to be here. Um, I am an Emerald Ambassador and I love this community. And I was asked to talk about community and just what I do with my team and to show them community and show them love and make them feel special. Um, one of my core values is belonging. And I really want people to feel like they belong. And so when you join my, when you're on my team, you are a part of our family. And so I really want to make sure, hang on, I'm trying to, let me leave my other I had the zoom on both because my internet was messing up. So I'm getting back on my phone now. Okay. So when you're on, when you join our team page, it's like, welcome to our family. I want people to feel like they're loved. I want them to feel like they belong and they're on, you know, a different path than what they might've been on, on other products or things like that. I really want them to feel um, the difference in our community. And so with that, I all also do, you know, we have different chats and we are always motivating and kind of like Tiffany just said, we do lots of um, giveaways. We do lots of wonderful, I, I don't know if you follow Goalcast. Goalcast is one of my favorites to follow. It's just motivating videos, things like that. Eric Thomas is another great one that I always, I throw a YouTube video in there to, cause you, we, you know, sometimes we're in a valley and we're in a funk and we're like, how do we get out of it? For me in my, in my community and my team, I always throw in videos and I'm like, Hey, this spoke to me. I don't know if it's going to speak to you, but girl, go listen. Kevin Hart is amazing. Eric Thomas, Goldcast, uh, Terry Savelle. I can name out a hundred, but you really want to find those motivating things because when you do that, think of like your best friends, how are you going to pump up your best friend? Right? How are you going to pump up Santa? Probably, you know, make sure he's got plenty of candy and cookies, right? You want to fill your community that same way and you want them to feel loved. You want them to feel valued. When they're in a funk, you want them to feel heard. When they're, you know, rising at the top, you want them to feel that wonderful sensation that, oh my gosh, Hannah, look where you're at. Holy moly. Like you're shouting them off to the rooftops as much as you can. And that's what I do with my team. Um, I try to motivate them in everything. Then when they're in the funk, I want them to break down. Why? What, 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 what lies are you telling yourself? What lies are you allowing Satan to tell you in this moment? And so, like I said in the beginning, write it on your mirror, say, say the goals that you have, say the affirmations that you need to hear that you're allowing yourself to believe, you know, flip them, make them sound completely different. Oh my gosh. I, I am, I am an emerald. I don't care where you're at right now. If you're just brand new and you're silver, you dream big and, and post that, put that everywhere. That was the one thing I did when I went emerald. I had it everywhere because I believed in my core. I didn't care if I went emerald that month or the next month or whenever I believed and I believed it hard. When we had convention before COVID, I stole a couple of the like seats, you know, the seat cover th thingies, you know, cause I believed it. I was like, you know what, I'm going there and that's gonna happen. So I, you have to believe that to your core. And so those are the things that I do in my community is I build them up. I encourage them constantly. I am their, their bestie and I'm gonna make sure that they feel that. Um, I make sure also the chair, I always tell my team, what can you do that is going to give the cherry on the top to that person? What can I do to Tiffany to make her feel so special that she'll never look anywhere else, that she'll continually pour into her business, that she'll continually do this? So we do you know, Christmas cards. I do Christmas cards. So I'll bring up Christmas. Christmas cards every year, handwritten Christmas 
Christmas that I can do hundreds and then also hand paint ornaments for a year that has a brand new scent. of my team knows what that scent is until they get in the mail. Um, so I do that. And that's something that is the cherry on top to my business. What can you do to make the cherry on top to your business, to your team? Your team is going to look polar different than mine, right? But what can you do to yours unique and love and valued and all of um, Anyway, I can keep going on. Well, just, just love on your team, love in a way that you can. So I can keep on and pass it on. And I think it's giveaway time. Here's here. <laughs> Cassie, you're so awesome. <laughs> Tiffany, you you did fantastic. Tabitha, we appreciate all of you guys. Uh, I'm just so thankful for this community. Speaking of community, it's just, we have uh, 28, we had 30 on at one time. And for me to say, hey, I'm going to host a Zoom in five months time and have 30 people actually sign in to look at me dressed as a 35 year old male in a Santa costume. Uh, you would think I was crazy, but this is fantastic. Each of you guys here care about your business. And I say this every time I have a zoom call, but if you're here, you care about furthering your business and you care about furthering your community. And as silly as it is to have Christmas in July, it, it kind of just, it motivates me to look forward to what is next. What's next in my business? What's next in my holiday season? What's next in my life season? And so it's fantastic. Without further ado, I need everybody to post. I've seen a couple of you had all 14. Did anybody else have all 14 items, which I'm having a terrible time believing, but it is the magic of Christmas. So I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm going to have to have one thing checked. And then if you all agree, then yes, I have 14. But well, let's uh, let's see it. What, what you need checked, girl? What? Okay. So um, do you want me to just show you all 14 or just yeah. what I have in question? Well, do, do what you have in question for now. Okay, this for the Santa hat. It's a Santa, it's a Santa hat. hat. I mean, I'll, okay. Right. What y'all think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Everybody, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs, thumbs up, up, thumbs up. Majority rule. Santa, Santa hat. And I got a hat. So who all had uh, Santa hats? Or who all had all 14? Uh, Unless I go to the basement. Keisha and Josh had 14. Hannah had 14. Anybody else? Okay, y'all are going to have to help me think of a tiebreaker. Uh, it's Christmas. Let's just give them both a prize. Okay, we will. Do you want to have them show us the items? I don't know, man. Santa's watching. So if you don't have all 14, you're going to be struck down to the naughty list. I think we're going to move this right along. But you guys um Keisha and Josh hey Josh is coming on strong work is I'm gonna give you a shout out Josh man for the man ambassador community what what uh coming on strong working that business and oh, I did want to say one thing um Tiffany uh Clayton is a gold but she is has a diamond mindset y'all she is fantastic if you watch her posts if you watch her motivation and mindset if you watch what she does it she just is one enrollee away from her big break and yes. so uh y'all remember that name y'all remember Cassie y'all remember uh, Tabitha, uh, and then we've got two more awesome. just speakers. excellent speakers. Yes. Um, and then we have a sale just for you guys at the end. So don't hop off of here yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't, don't want to miss stay it. tuned. And I so cliche, stay tuned. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to introduce the next speaker. Um, if y'all didn't notice, we're going to go into, I'm going to give you a very quick one-on-one detour. I have a while. Look. Y'all, I'm amazed. I haven't been on many Zoom calls and I'm just sitting here watching everybody's screens and I'm like, this is awesome. She's doing this. Uh, Destiny's baby is off the chain and I'm watching Danielle's kid in the background. And I'm like, I'm like, this is great, man. Why don't I do this more often? And uh, and so anyway, oh, next speaker. I have ADD or Christmas DD or whatever it is. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to go over the website in just a minute, but I want Danielle Allen and her husband, Justin Allen are like website gurus. And so I took all of your guys' input, your guys' I'm from the South, all y'all's input, and uh, I, you know, this big cornucopia of ideas, and when I didn't know how to make something happen, I contacted Danielle, and I was like, Danielle, what's this called? How do I make it happen? And she's like, less than 20 seconds. Uh, me and Justin said it's this, and I went to it, and it was like, boom, instantaneous. And so all of the major, major improvements, the Pink Life website, are all I'm, I'm going to credit that to Danielle and Justin because I'm just a country boy that knows how to design t-shirts nothing about the e-commerce industry but um, Danielle is I met Danielle for the first time at convention 
Um, she is full of joy and full of just her personality is bright and she has a bright future in the company. And we just thank, are very thankful that she's part of this community. So without hesitation, take it away, Danielle. Hey, thank you. That was sweet. I, I think you're giving us way too much credit. We're happy to be able to, to share and answer some questions and help where we could, but you're giving us way too much credit on that. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm Danielle Allen and I'm a senior Ruby ambassador and I'm a mom of six kids and life is chaotic. So I try really hard to try to keep things simple. So tonight I'm gonna to share with you all about keeping things simple um, with helping your new people to um, start to share, to duplicate and do what you are doing and go silver. And I have a kid knocking on my door too. We'll see if they just get the idea and just go away. All right, um, first of all, like you want people to duplicate and do what you are doing. Like duplication is the idea. So one thing that, um, that I really try to do is instead of like waiting for them to come to me and be like, oh, I really like your post on this. Can I post that too? I go ahead and give them post ideas. Go ahead and share with your new people and say, hey, you can copy what I posted and let's take your own picture. Here, here's an idea of how you can use this content and repurpose it. And um, sometimes doing that for them really helps them to um, not have to overthink it. Um, it gives them an idea of what to do. Um, also, um, with the way that um, I usually connect with my potentials, I try to make sure that um, I'm keeping that super, super simple. I don't have to be the expert on everything. You don't have to be the expert on everything. I'm really grateful for that because there are some of those like really long words and I cannot pronounce them for the life of me. So I'm really glad I do not have to be the expert. Um, I use a lot of the ad tag message method and it's so easy to duplicate. You don't have to know anything to be able to use it. You just have to have a group with testimonies in it. And what this means is that you get in a conversation with someone and as you're finding out what their health goals are, and I do this in three-way chats, I do this in chats with people who are just talking with me, um, finding out their health goals and adding them to a testimony group where I can tag them on a testimony that relates to them. I don't have to be the one answering all their questions and being the expert. And my new person who I'm helping, they don't have to be the expert either. They can also do the simple thing and just tag their friend on a testimony that applies or another post that gives the information that answers the question. And when I'm in a three-way chat with somebody who is brand new to sharing and they see that the way I'm answering the question isn't by using what's here, it's by using a tool that they also have access to. It empowers them because they realize they don't have to know it all. They can do the exact same thing I did and I'm not doing anything special. And it helps to make it easier for them to duplicate and do this too. So it's keeping it super, super short, but that's it. Keep it simple and um, you don't have to be the expert. Help them to know they don't have to be the expert either and uh, it makes it easier to, to duplicate. Um, also there's, my husband sent me this quote a little while ago. He's, he's the website designer, it's not me. I help him with content stuff on it, but he's a super awesome designer. And when he's designing sites, he's like, simplicity is key. Simplicity is like, there's a Leonardo da Vinci quote or something about simplicity being sophistication, something like that. But be, keeping it simple is huge. It's like so much bigger than we realize, anyway. That's all I've got. Awesome, I love that. And actually I was just on a call today with um, Jen Viev and one of the things that she mentioned is keep it so, your social media should be so simple that your grandmother can do it. Like everything that you're doing should be so simple that your grandmother can do it. So I want you guys to think about that because I think sometimes we want to like show off our skills so much and we want to use our strengths, but is your audience looking at you like, this is too hard. I don't think that I can do what she does. And actually, I challenge you guys to do this too. One of the things Jen B. have asked us to do is to ask some of our closest friends that are not interested in Plexus, they're not doing Plexus, they're not in Plexus, but people you trust, ask them on a scale from one to 10, how hard do you think what I do is? I asked three people, two of them said 10, and one of them said eight to nine. And I was like, e, like I'm making this look 
way too complicated. No wonder people don't want to join my team because they're probably like, I can't do that. Like that looks too hard. So simplicity is key. Ask a couple friends what they think. Do they think that what you do is hard? And then ask them on a scale of one to 10, how fun do you think it looks? And make sure that your fun is a lot higher number than how hard it is, or you're going to have a hard time finding people. So thank you so much, Danielle, for sharing that. Do you want to enjoy uh, introduce the next speaker? I mean, how fun is a <laughs> Christmas PJ party in July? So just send them a screenshot of this right here. Yeah. That's all you got to do. This is what we do. There's a fat guy in a Santa suit on a Zoom call. Anyway, thank you, Danielle. We love you. Um, this last speaker, and then we're... We, you guys stay with us. We've probably got 15 more minutes left, okay? Um, this last speaker, uh, we met on Facebook. I didn't know her from Eve. Um, I can't say Adam or Eve because yeah, she's a girl. It's just Eve. Yeah. Um, but I knew that her content was on point. I knew that she, I could tell by her content that she had a great mindset. And so we started talking. She became a, a tribe rep. And uh, she has overcome some challenges recently. And she is bouncing back. And I noticed that on her Facebook. I just want to give you a shout out and say that we're proud of you, Jessica. And uh, we, love we love you. And uh, I just did the beaver hard. <laughs> Come on. Uh, we love you. And uh, yeah, she's awesome. So what you got for us, Jay Ruck? Oh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. And I appreciate everyone that spoke tonight. I literally have two pages of notes. I am an emerald and you just never stop learning in this business. You got to come and get all the valuable information and use it in different ways, right? So you uh, you guys asked me to talk about authenticity tonight. And this is actually a topic that comes up for me often. People want me to talk about it. And I'm like, I don't even notice that I'm being authentic or different um, than other people because I just, I like to hit people in the feels. I like to get people thinking. I like to make you a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and it's in a good way because I want you to change. Like, I want you to feel like, oh, I actually do feel like I, I want a different life. I actually do. Now that she mentioned it, I do want change in my life. I do want like to not be so bored or to feel like my life is kind of lame because that's where I came from. I am a recovering alcoholic and a drug addict. And um, that's part of my story. And with me, I have to really own that because if it's a secret, then I'm not being authentic. And I have overcome a lot in my life. And I think that when I am in the audience and I hear someone's story, I want to know where they came from. I want to know what they've overcome because I want to feel what they are saying. And that's what I want to kind of direct you guys to do is when you're talking and when you're posting, get people to feel what you're feeling or how you felt in the past. I'm a huge storyteller. And so I like to talk about things that happened in my life, right? And it will literally be the most random idea. I'll be like, oh my gosh, remember that one time I went scuba diving? I'll think about it, okay? And I'll think about it for like a good day. And then I will go write a post about how I went scuba diving. But it's not just like, oh, I went scuba diving in 2016. It's, I was freaking out. I was so anxious to go underwater 30 feet while my daughter was with uh, our neighbors. I was so scared that my oxygen tank would not work because I had a friend who died from scuba diving. Okay. I get really deep with my storytelling and I tell you about why I was feeling anxious, why this was a nerve wracking experience for me. But then at the end, here's the kicker, you guys, you have to wrap it up with I'm so glad I don't have anxiety anymore because of the supplements that I take that help my mood and my uh, anxious thoughts. Okay. I always wrap up my stories with how I feel now in my current life. And this is just something that I have made a point to do is to be bold and to be brave and to kind of leave everybody with the mic drop. Like, I want you to feel something when I talk to you and our time is valuable, right? We're not here to like beat around the bush. Okay. My personality is like blunt to the point, honest, like, let's get it done. Let's do it. If, if you're not ready. Okay, cool. Come back later. Um, but I really want to encourage you guys to share from your heart and share authentically and genuinely. And just remember, you have an entire life's worth of stories. It's, it's just remembering what they are and then taking that time to put it on paper or put it in a post and, and kick them in the feels. So that's what I got for you guys. Thanks for um, hopping on this pajama party. I think these are so cool and I love events. So you guys keep doing them. Um, and that's all.
Thank you, Jessica. Uh, authenticity is huge, man. Like you can't be anyone else other than yourself. And so I think that, and I'm, I'm working on part two of authenticity over everything right now. I had to take a stop to get the new website up, but I'm telling you, like when you learn to be authentically yourself, and you learn to enjoy who you are and own who you are and own your story. But, you know, the amazing thing, I promise I'm not going to go church on you, but the amazing thing is God doesn't care who you were. God cares, doesn't care about the last 90 days of your life. God cares about the next 90 days of your life. And so when you get that mindset and when you get that up here moving forward, man, life is so, you can live in so much more freedom. You get you get free to that bondage and carrying that weight because I don't know about you, but I'm out of shape and I can't carry a lot of weight mentally or physically. And so anyway, I'm done talking. I'm done with that. I just want to give a shout out to Shay's husband who just logged on. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was awesome. What's up, Adam? Adam is making moves in the male community. And so anyway, I'm going to share my screen right now. I'm going to show you the new Pink Life site. Um, and let's just go over this really quick. I'm not going to bore you. This is not going to be death by PowerPoint or anything. I'm just going to show you some <laughs> cool things. All right. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, can y'all see my screen over here? Somebody tell me yes. Okay. So you'll notice that it looks kind of janky on a, on, a, on a desktop, okay? And the reason for that is I totally redesigned Pink Life uh, website for mobile users because we're 95% on a mobile phone. It's still functional, but it is designed with the mobile user in mind. One thing I want to point out here is that any new design we come out is now going to be categorized on the main page and it's going to be in a total collection. So when you click on it, you can view every product that we offer with that design. Also moving forward, we're going to be doing long sleeve sweatshirts and hoodies at your request all year long. Because uh, we have some Canadian friends, eh, Mary? And, uh, and so we got y'all up north in mind. And so the, the only other thing that I really want to point out Oh, there's two things is we have now have a super powerful search engine. So if you type in a keyword for something that you're looking for, you can now find it over here, but you can also preview it over here on the right side. It'll also include collections. So if you're looking for tanks, you can click on the tank collection and it will take you straight to the tank collection. I have also added filters at the top to make it easier to find what you want. So if you've got a specific color, you can click on that color. You, got, you want to see, uh, see a specific product type, you can click on the product type here. Uh, those are going to be mainly toward when like you're looking at the collections and you know you're at the tanks. And for some reason, Tiffany, I don't know why your t-shirt's on here, but it's still on here. The other thing I want to hey, point Emmett. Huh? Emmett, it, it's not loading for us. Like it's just on one screen. What are you talking about? Your screen sharing. Your screen sharing is like, it's not what you're trying to show us. <laughs> I am Zoom illiterate. Let me try to do it again. I think it might be the connection. Oh, wait a minute. What about now? There we go. Moving? Much better. Okay, yeah, continue. Girl, yeah, girl. All right, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is the VIP incentive card. Is it going? Did it go? Okay, cool. The VIP incentive card. So we had some people come to us, and we got kiddos sneaking around the corner. We had some people come to us, and they were like, hey, I don't have time to – sit down and physically type in these people that earn these incentives that y'all do for us one by one. What can you do for us? Uh, so here's what we did. I did the VIP incentive card. Now, we're not going to be able to print these shirts in bulk, so it's going to be $5 higher. But if you want the passcode or if you want the discount code to get these VIP incentive cards down to $20, all you got to do is message me. Now, we will be monitoring these cards uh, for, and I hope, I don't think anybody would do it, but we want to monitor these cards for any suspected abuse. So what I don't want to see is somebody getting five or six VIP cards and then ordering five or six T-shirts under their own name, because that's not what we're doing this for. We don't profit off of the VIP or the incentive programs. We offer this just so you can grow your team. So basically, you send us a message, say, hey, I want to incentivize my team. I send you the discount code and you will only pay $20 for the VIP card, but they will come with a $29.98 value. OK, and so what you will do is all you have to do is send your people this electronic code. And they can go and purchase a $29.98 t-shirt for free. So it's like you're just sending them a gift card for 30 bucks, but they're only costing you $20. And we do that to help you incentivize your team. Um, the Join Our Team is our affiliate program. If you're not familiar with that, I'm going to post some how-to videos. We've got a quick link to the events page, uh, resources. We're going to start our blogs up again. We've just, we've had, it's, we're finally getting settled in from the move. But anyway, that's all with the website. It's set up for mobile users. If y'all encounter any errors or anything of that nature, please let us know. Uh, also, I added bulk discounts. So if you buy 
one or two, or if you like want to buy teachers for your team, I'll give you discounts on top of those versus the incentive program. So the next thing that I want to talk to you about <clears throat> is for until 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let me find it. Where's it at? Boom. Until 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Can you see that? Everybody see that? Given 15% off for the next hour. It includes all of our new releases. If you didn't see those, we've got uh, nine fresh brand new designs, one new design. So 10 total new designs. All of our old products are still on there as well, but you use the code, the Grinch, and this is only gonna be available until 9.30 PM. Uh, as a little thank you, uh, most of you guys that are here on this Zoom are considered top contributors. So did everybody get a chance to screenshot that or just remember the Grinch, okay, one word. Okay, let's look through our chat and see if we had any other people for our way. Hannah Godfrey, yes, we do custom designs. We do custom t-shirts, we do custom bottles, we do custom stickers, uh, what, uh, whatever you need, we do it custom. Janessa, um, I'm just saying that y'all better be ready for my Christmas collection because I love Christmas. Mm -hmm. I have a Grinch costume. The Grinch is my favorite and it's uh, fall. We gotta get through fall first, okay? We get pumpkin through the fall, spice pumpkin spice and everything <laughs> nice. Um, and then we get to Christmas and I'm going to try to have these out and I just love Christmas. I mean, I just, I just love the meaning behind. I don't, my, my goal is to help everybody understand the true meaning of Christmas is not just Santa Claus and elves. It's, it's a celebrate, uh, the birth of our savior. And so that's why Christmas is my favorite. Uh, so anyway, nobody else posted. So Hannah Godfrey and the Spry's. You guys have got yourself a $50 gift card to Pink Life. Uh, message us and we'll send you a $50 discount code uh, for that. Um, don't forget the sale. Oh, um, and our pajama. Like, we still have our pajama oh, contest going. Yeah. Somebody else is going to be judging this. That is not us because we would not be able to pick. We love all of you so much. But so I figure what we do is on the thread, Yeah. just have people like it. The most likes win. Yeah, we can do that. Most likes wins. So if you have uh, if you have your Christmas PJs, make sure you do a silly face, do something to bring attention to it. And then from your personal page, redirect them to us and say, hey, go vote on my picture. Yeah. And that helps us. And then we'll promise we'll reward you with a prize. Um, Christmas is not over yet. Um, still have a full warehouse to clean out. Yeah. So we might have another warehouse clean out sale. Maybe two. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's let them get on the website. <laughs> Get acquainted to the purchases. new website. Um, <laughs> you if, you have, if you haven't been a part of Work With Me Wednesdays, um, Lindsay Pettit is joining us this Wednesday. Tomorrow. She is uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. Um, she's going to be opening up her home, teaching you house, what has helped her become successful. Um, these things have been phenomenal so far. We had as many as 90 people tune in. And uh, so schedule one hour out of your day to focus on work on your business, better your business, better yourself. And then the 27th, I'm having the Adobe Lightroom 101. And listen, don't be intimidated. This is going to be 101, okay? This is going to be how to take your, I'm going to be bold here, how to take your jank photo and make it look like something, okay? That's how I say it. Those, uh, those dark photos, we're going to learn how to brighten them. We're going to learn how to highlight our hair artificially. Uh, maybe put a little spotlights on ourselves. Maybe how to add a little contrast. Um, maybe add a little blur, a little vignette. Uh, if y'all don't know what vignette is, it's making the darken around the corners. Uh, I call it vignette, Carmen. I know you're a graphic designer. I call it vignette forever, <laughs> like a salad dressing, but it's a vignette. Uh, and so we're gonna learn the 101s of Adobe Lightroom. And it costs like $5 a month, $6 a month, but I promise y'all it will blow. You mean it's not vignette? That's vignette. <laughs> Whoops. It's like a red wine, it's yeah. vignette. <laughs> and so anyway, um, it will blow your minds. It is well worth the $6 investment, I promise, per month. Yes. Because it, I don't know. If you don't use it, you need to get it. Anyway, anybody else have anything before we log off? We had a question about Work With Me Wednesday. It's 10 a.m. Central Time. And we will post that link. Did we already post the Zoom link? We'll no, we'll no, we'll do it tomorrow. We have up to 100. So if we reach 100, you won't be able to get in. Uh, and then we may have to come off of our wallets and upgrade our <laughs> Zoom account. I don't know. So anyway, up to 100, um, it is interactive. So if you have questions for Lindsay, you just unmute yourself and ask her. 
guys, the people in this community, the people that are leading this community, us, everybody, we're, we're just people. We're not a corporate entity. Um, we are just people that want to invest in you. Like, this is my full-time job. I don't have another job. This is my full-time job is investing in you and pouring into you and designing some cool t-shirts. That's all I do. And well, I mean, I do Plex, I mean, the other company too, but <laughs> so, so anyway, that brings up another point. The, I don't know if you saw or not on the website, but now our Pink Life Swag uh, cover girls now get their own little feature and it's a little sliding thingy. Um, if you want that photo to be featured, please do not include any branded products in your photo. Or the logo. Or the logo. Okay, because we cannot post those on the worldwide of internet. Yeah. You can post. You them, can post but them. We're not allowed to share them, so yeah. we wouldn't be able to put you like on our website and feature you. Yeah. So or social media. If you want to be a pink Clive cover girl, which we want you all to be, we love seeing your selfies. I mean, it makes my day when somebody posts them on travel. It really does because it helps me generate content. So it helps me tremendously. Plus, I like seeing y'all smiling faces. Yes. So, so cool. make sure there's no branded content. No, uh, you can do like clear bottle with a colored drink in it, but just make sure there's no logo or branded content. Love y'all. Merry Christmas. Bye guys.